really? What should I do? That's okay. You're gonna go after him. You guys, some of you aren't moving. Okay, we'll do that. The fight continues. Awesome, all of a sudden. My goal in this one is trying to get everybody to level eight. I'll stick with it. Anybody hurt? Uh, just Z? That's it? Okay. Oh, it... Steel Lance. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Ah, no damage. Italian leveled up. Awesome. Uh, I'll go ahead and move her up to Penny Wind him. That's gonna be a 100% so that hits automatically. You're going after, you're going after her. Ugh. Uh, 16 damage or a lot of damage right there who are you going after are oh, you going after Anna the 99% chance huh. well then um 
That's uh, not entirely, entirely gonna fly. We do have a mage in here, which is not great. Had to be done. Indeed, it did have to be. That's not gonna fly. Sure, go for it. missed each other so there's that now you're going after him now huh uh for how much damage 16 times two. Oh god oh god I actually better put her here. Best I can do. Please hit. Be gone. Oh, he's almost level nine. at a 91% oh that has to feel horrible that's that's the feel that's some feels bads oh we got two two oh two oh that's not good. weak that's not particularly good You're gonna hit him for oh only eight? Oh well that's perfect. Who are you going after? Oh you're going after her? Oh well. A day. Bad. Seven, you're also level seven, but killing him will, will definitely put you to level eight. Anybody need a no? Oh. 
that is that. So it looks like she'll end up taking six here, unless I'm... Hmm. I have four charges left. Uh, you have a 14 evasion. You have an 18, so technically. But the question is, do I want to uh, level up my healer or my cat, my main cast, my uh, uh, damage caster? Probably actually want to get, well, level up my healer. Okay. Okay. Let's keep our guard up. Awesome. I won't let it. Zero damage and zero damage. Oh, well. Um, actually, that's a little too far. No, think about it. I'm on it. And I think I'll go ahead and her, get her just a little bit closer. There we go. No damage. Kill level up. Nice. Master well. strength plus two and shove. That was a lot of damage he did, though. Oh, saw that coming. Huh. Ha! Missed! I will take that. Stay focused. Oh, and he crit. Oh, oh, I miss. I, 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 oh, lost opportunity. Yeah. That one is expected. Guess I've gotten better. By the way, did you level up? <gasps> Gosh. Darn it! What should I do? <laughs> Weak. Level nine. All right, Z is now actually the better to serve. Falling a little behind.
Okay, it was, looked like it was a miss. Damn. Gotta stay focused. Nice. And she's level eight. Ooh. Uh, this stinks. Okay, she's already level eight, so I don't have to worry about her. I'll go. Yeah, one more. Well done. Boom. And dead. Be gone. Got him. Lead the bullion. Yay. Thieves, seven arcane crystals. Okay. MVP. Uh, so we will have effects on the... Oh, yeah, yeah. That I know. All right. All right, here we go. This mission is gonna suck. Oh, I only have two characters at level seven? Oh, well, uh, okay. Oh, Ingrid hasn't done a certificate yet. So. Continued. Yes, please. Who still needs a new a certificate? I don't think anybody does. But I think after this fight, ooh, I'm gonna try and get Ingrid at least not, uh, Ingrid to level ten. But I think after this upcoming fight, we some of us like will end up becoming level ten. Well, Ash and Felix are only level seven as well, so I don't. I guess I don't have much, too much to worry about. Worry about marketplace right now. Um, hey, we can definitely sell this. Those are fine. Those are fine. Okay, actually, that's not fine. Okay, I have a steel ant and a javelin in my convoy. And a steel bow. Okay, that's good. Ooh, another bullion. Okay. We're buying. Ash needs... Ash doesn't need anything. You don't need anything. You don't need anything. 
you're fine. Oh, we got some supports. Boom. Let's get this done. Hmm. This tent is torn. Can you please fix this one first, Ash? Absolutely. Sorry. I should probably take care of it myself, but we'd be here until sundown if I... No problem at all. I've had lots of practice with things like this. Happy to help however I can. Oh. Well, thanks. Actually, I'll fetch you something to make the job less of a burden. You like sweet things, right? Ah, uh, well, yes. Sorry, no. I can't ask you to do that. Ash, I told you, there's no need to act like that. I, I can't have someone from the royal family running errands for me. It doesn't feel right. Lenato would be furious with me, I'm sure. If Lord Lenato says something to you, I'll write him a letter of protest. I really don't mind, <laughs> so you needn't worry about that. And while I'm being candid, I'd prefer it if you didn't speak so formally to me. We're supposed to be allies. We fought side by side as equals, haven't we? I know. But to commoners like me, you're royalty. Regular folks normally only lay eyes on someone like you once or twice in their whole lives. I understand. I really do. When I ascend the throne, perhaps I should do a tour of each city. What? No, that's not what I meant. I'm at a loss. I wish to make things better, but I seem to only upset you more and more. That is certainly not my intention. Perhaps I should leave you be and take care of our shopping. Please, I promise I'll go myself just as soon as I've finished with the tent. Ash, enough! Okay. I have a question. Answer me this. I don't normally eat sweets. So what would you recommend? Oh, well, if price isn't a concern for you, then you should I know go what he's for the doing. sugar candies. The ones they make in town are really delightful. Uh... Oh, your highness, please, you mustn't. Got it. Sugar candies it is. I'll go and fetch some. Your highness, please <laughs> come back. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure these it. repairs get done. I knew it. <sighs> that was hilarious. I'd better avoid the training grounds. I swear That's smart. His highness never sleeps. Highness, eh? Your highness is smart. You're out late, Sylvain. Is it safe to assume you've been wildly carousing with women? I'm afraid that behavior simply will not do. Ah, your highness. Hello. No, I was not wildly carousing with women. There was only the one. Let's just forget you saw me. Agreed? Unfortunately, I can't do that. It's time someone talked some sense into you. And it seems the task has fallen to me. Sylvain, I'm not saying you can't enjoy yourself at night. But you must learn the art of moderation. Again and again, you end up wandering the streets until the early morning. Okay, I get it. I don't need one of your lectures. I've got them all memorized anyway. I promise I'll be better in the future. I'll stop going out at night. I'll focus more on my studies. And in return, you'll go into town with me, and we'll invite some cute girls to dinner. Shall we shake on it? The way your mind works absolutely confounds me. How did you even arrive at such a notion? You need to get out more. Naive and uptight is no way to live your life. Naive and uptight? <laughs> yes, well, compared to you, I imagine I'm downright run of the mill. I will be say. I will say, Sylvain kinda has a point against Dimitri. Because Dimitri does need to get out of the town more often. I'm not so sure. Most men are experienced enough to know not to give a dagger to the girl they... Will you never let that rest? It was many years ago. Perhaps a good knock on the head will help you to finally forget about it. With your brute strength, a knock on the head could knock the life right out of me. You'd better watch that temper, your highness. 
So how about this? I'll try to behave, and you'll try to loosen up. <sighs> if I do as you wish, will you truly promise to improve your behavior? what I just say? Of course I'll behave. A knight of Fargus never goes back on his word. What about you? I want to see you with a girl on your arm. I am a man of my word. I will attempt to do as you ask. You had better uphold your end of the bargain as well. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'll believe it when he introduces me to the lucky girl. Oh, Dimitri, you always take even the silliest things so very seriously. This should be fun. <laughs> oh, Dimitri really reminds me of myself. Because when I'm not streaming, everything is serious for me. I think it's a little too serious. Hell, even right now, it's like pretty serious. Except I'm trying to be morning, loose Highness. and laid back. Getting in some early training, huh? Oh, it's not too terribly early. And what about you? <laughs> oh, I'm just going for my morning walk. Hey, maybe you'd like to join me. It's a great way to start the day. Morning walk? <laughs> Funny. Gustav always kept the same habit. You really do remind me of your father, Annette. I hear that a lot. Father was always busy with work, so he wasn't around much. But when he was home, he'd often take me with him for his walks. Annette, something's been weighing on me. Something I've done terribly wrong. Your father. He worked tirelessly. I don't know if I ever saw him take a rest. I feel as though, in a way, we stole him from you. I'll admit, it was a bit lonely growing up. But I understand. Father loved his work. No one ever doubted that. Actually, I've been thinking recently that I'd like to talk to you more, Your Highness. Oh? Any reason in particular? Father was a man of few words, both with myself and my mother. But sometimes he would tell me about you. So, you don't really feel like a stranger to me. In a way, it's like I've known you for a long time. Almost as though you're my big brother. Your big brother? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I let that slip out. That was rude of me. <laughs> no, nonsense. I promise you, I don't mind at all. It's certain that my days would have been filled with more fun if I'd had a little sister like you. What kind of things did Gustav tell you about me? I'd love to hear more on this topic. Do you really want to know? Well, for one, he used to tell this story about when you were a child, and... You know what? Never mind. I have a bad feeling about where this is going. How about you forget we had this talk all together, and don't mention it to anyone? <laughs> a little embarrassed story. Not want to hear our childhood stories? I do. I mean, hell, actually, I wouldn't mind, so, uh, mind being... Anyways. Oh, he has a possible possibility of actually getting together with Annette. Huh. Thank you for sparring with me, Your I'd Highness. I'd love to see that one it seems happen. Despite how hard I've worked, I'm still no match for you. Oh, there's no need for such humility. Thanks to all of your hard work, you're improving rapidly. If you're going to praise me, it should at least be after I've won a match against you. You know, Ingrid, I may be the victor when we cross spears on foot like this. But on horseback, your handling of a lance is far superior. Can't I be allowed to have my own area of expertise? No, I cannot allow that. It's my duty to get stronger, to fight with all I have in defense of the kingdom and its people. Such high stakes. <laughs> By the way, where did you learn that fierce jab of yours? I'm pretty sure the only other person I've seen perform that move is Glenn. So you recognized it. Yes, he shared much with me. I thought as much. I never imagined I would be on the receiving end of one of his techniques again. Glenn and I once studied under the same instructor. I've sparred with him more times than I can count. Ah, uh, yes. He was never short on praise for you. Lord Dimitri is incredible. Such skill. There's no way I'll ever outmatch him. Things of that sort. Well, now, he never said any of that to me. Well, he was Felix's brother. That family's oh. not big on displays of affection. Okay. That is true. We spent about as much time arguing as we did training. I can't believe it's been four years since the tragedy of Dusker. Since we lost Glenn along with so many others. So it has. Time moves quickly, 
Things have changed so much. Despite the sorrow, I intend to become a powerful knight. A knight like yourself, and like Glenn. I will do so for the sake of my homeland, the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, and for all who have died protecting it. To that end, I hope you will spar with me again in the future, Your Highness. It would be my pleasure. After all, I value our trading sessions as much as you do. We got a lot to go through, okay. Hold a moment, dog. Are you speaking to me? I don't oh. see anyone else here, do you? You're that boar's lapdog. Do not mock his highness. <laughs> Spoken like a good pet. Why do you follow him with such devotion? Do you really think a man like that is worth it? Fargus destroyed my homeland. Burned it all to the ground. Slaughtered my people. The punishment of Dusker. My father, my mother, my sibling, all were killed. We received no aid, no respite. Fargus murdered our dignity and torched our pride. His Highness is different. He is the only one who sees my people as human. He risked his life to save mine, and it is thanks to him that I no longer wish for death. That's what we call blind obedience. Tell me, would you give your life for him? Yes. And what if he commanded you to join him in a senseless massacre? I would do it. Even a massacre of children, or the elderly, or your own comrades? Without hesitation. You have misunderstood me. I am the sword and shield of his highness. Weapons do not have a will of their own. Blind obedience. You're right. I did misunderstand. I shouldn't have called you a lapdog. You're a rabid cur. You and the Boar Prince make quite a team. Two crazed animals. I warned you not to mock his highness. I am aware you have a history of friendship with him, but one more word. I've said my piece. Scamper back to your master. Jeez. Rude, Felix. To do, hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope I'm not bothering you. Looks like you're pretty deep in thought. Does it? I just wanted to stop by and ask. It was your turn to cook last night, yeah? Uh, yes. Well, it was great. I was wondering if you could give me some tips. You know, teach me how to cook. I hear a girl loves a man who can cook. Sylvain. Yeah? <laughs> you are from Fargus. You must understand how it appears for you to spend time with one from Dusker. To be near me is to invite tedious misunderstanding. Oh, please. I don't care who misunderstands what about me. I talk to who I want. Besides, I believe the Dusker people are innocent. You do? Fargus and Dusker have been friendly since, heck, forever. So why would our old friends from Dusker just up and assassinate our king? It doesn't make sense. Sure, there are probably folks from Dusker who don't like Fargus. But do I think there's enough of them to mount an attack and slaughter the king and his whole company of elite guards? It is difficult to believe, considering the discrepancy in skill and number. Right? At most, I can see a misguided group of people from Dusker conspiring with someone else who had plans to dethrone the king. Maybe they were even lured into participating and used as scapegoats. Regardless, it doesn't concern you or the rest of your people. A person can't be judged by the worst of their kind. Or where would any of us be? Besides, people like to talk about me anyway, so let them talk. Okay, you're making a weird face. What did I say? I have misjudged you. I was under the impression you only cared about women. <laughs> well, I'm glad I've cleared up that misunderstanding. But really, there's no way I'm the only person who figured all that out. There must be people who think like me in Ferdiad. 
including His Highness. Agreed. But whatever the truth, we are still perceived as traitorous assassins. Once a misunderstanding takes hold, it isn't easy to clear the air. Not without solid evidence of the truth. But even if we found evidence that your people are innocent, those negative sentiments wouldn't disappear overnight. The only thing that can change that is time and effort. Depressing, isn't it? Time and effort. Yes, I believe you're right. Man, that got serious. Shouldn't we lighten things up with a nice cooking lesson? Very well. <laughs> I mean, hey, open... Hey, got him opened up a little bit. 